Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this video, we'll discuss solutions to the 2016 JEE Mains Physics Question Paper. Let's move on to the next question. The time period of a pendulum is defined as uh, root 2L by G. And if L changes, the time period will change as root 2 by G L0 times 1 plus alpha theta where theta is the change in temperature right we can write this as 2 L naught by G root 1 plus alpha theta to the power 1 by 2 now this because alpha theta is very small we can write as 1 plus alpha theta by 2 1 plus X whole to the power Y is equal to 1 plus Y X if X is very very small but if X is very very small but greater than 0 so this is how we can write it and the original time was root 2 L naught by G. So delta T will be half of root 2 L by G, root 2 L naught by G times alpha theta. Right. And root 2 L naught by G is capital T, the original time period. So what we get is delta T by T is equal to half alpha theta. Some of you might remember this equation. Some of you might have been told that this is a standard equation. If not, then I have derived it. But this is basically an equation which governs the change in time period. So we are given two cases. In the first case, the pendulum clock loses 12 seconds. Now, if the clock is losing time, that means it shows a value which is smaller than the actual value. That means it actually had a smaller number of revolutions, which means the time taken for each revolution uh, for each repetition of the pendulum cycle would increase. So when a pendulum clock loses time, the time period increases, right? So delta T is positive. What we'll get is 12 divided by T, where T is the total time in one day because it loses 12 seconds per day, is equal to half into alpha into theta. Now since the time period is increasing, what we have done is increase the temperature to 40 degrees. So here what we should have is 40 minus t. Similarly, in the second case, we'll have 4 by t is equal to half into alpha into, but now what we'll have is t minus 20, because if it is gaining 4 seconds, the time period for each repetition is decreasing, which means we have actually decreased the temperature. I actually, I, I'll just use theta here because we don't want to use the same variable both sides. This is the number of seconds in one day, which is a constant, and theta is the temperature of the pendulum where it shows the actual correct time. You can divide these two, what you'll get is 40 minus theta by theta minus 20 is equal to 3, which gives you theta is equal to 25 degrees. From that itself, you can see that the answer should be option 1, but let's calculate alpha as well. So that can be calculated easily. Theta with any one of these two, theta minus 20 is 5. So what you'll get is half into alpha into 5 is equal to 4 divided by now this is the number of seconds in a day which is 3600 multiplied by 24 and if you try to calculate it you'll get the correct value alpha is equal to 1.85 into 10 to the power minus 5 this completes the solutions thank you